Welcome everybody to a very special Game of Tones, episode four. How are we feeling? Pretty good. Pretty Ready good? Go. Confident. Ready yeah. to go. You Excited. guys have a couple of these under your belts now. Yeah. You feel like you know what you're in for? Never. <laughs> yeah, well, you shouldn't know what you're in for because we have a surprise for you today. Ooh, we love surprises. Yeah, we have a special guest. Yeah. Introducing our special guest, Paul Reed Smith. Woo! <laughs> so reluctant. Thank you very much. You are welcome. So teach me what you want from me today. So this is episode, episode four. This is episode four. Yes, our last episode was the Christmas episode. So a quick recap, we had three episodes, the first two episodes. I was just happy with what you got. Yeah. You fool. I claimed victory. I will say that Ryan came back in third episode with Corey Wong. Do you want to know why it happened? Here, that's why they won. That's <laughs> and decimated Mark Letiri and myself, which now brings us to- Nobody decimates Mark Letiri. Thank you. Mark Letiri is too smart to be decimated. Yes, sir. No, he, must, he told me you love to be called sir. Is that true? That's bull. <laughs> well, underneath this kitschy little cloak that we've got here yeah. are uh, a variety of uh, stomp boxes, effects pedals, whatever you want to call them. We don't know what's there. We don't know what we're going to listen to. I can't look at that. I can't do Not that. Not He's going rogue. Cut. No cut. What do you want from me? You, I told you there were rules and you didn't want to hear them. I don't like rules. I know. All right, so <laughs> I'm blocking my view. I You're don't know blocking your own view. He doesn't view. know it. That's it. That's it, Keith's guitar. I know it a little is. bit now. Look at that. That's, That's a nine top, I think. There's a ten. Go on. All right. For an artist so we don't know what's going to happen. They're going to play an isolated track. Yeah. We have to listen to it. I can't be here when he does his. He won't be here when I do mine. Yeah. And we have to replicate the sound and That's somewhat the style of that track. You with guys the... have to replicate. Correct. True. Now, now, if you want to take my place, I have no problem. Okay. What with if that. I can replicate it better than you can? I'm sure you then can. Then you win. No, I'm not a contestant. We'll play the track. You could be our lifeline. You could even kind of, you know, help us out. And there's not any rules really, but we won't know what's going on until it happens. Okay, so how do I believe for one second that when you go off camera, you don't really hear his I track? I will be going into the green room where I'll there's be no swathed green room. I was just over in, there. in That's burlap a sack room. and I'll be hit with green. There's no green, there's there's no green room. <laughs> I, I, I'll be in the brown room. Okay, okay. You're, you're really, gonna, this is an integrity thing where you... I have no integrity, you know that. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm the one with the integrity. Nothing can go wrong. Everything has already gone wrong. I'm here. That's the beauty of it. That's why we're... Okay, that's so why we're you're doing. not starting, he's starting. Russell's I'm starting. Gonna start. But I named you thing one, which means you would go first. But in theory, communism works. So don't worry about that. What we're gonna do is we're going to is let Russ go first. Is this the way you talk when you're home with your... <laughs> it really is, 24 seven. Is this really, uh, is, do you sleep? Never, I never sleep. Okay, so he's first. And then what he's gonna do is when he's done, he's gonna disrobe. I'm gonna put no, on No, he's that. not gonna disrobe. No, I actually am. It, it, no, oh God. You had to do that, did you? Stop. <laughs> okay, is that Larry David? <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, I get the Larry David thing a lot. Stop. That's not fair. All right, right, so wait a minute. Getting the track sound is not as easy as just picking the no, pedal not. and the guitar. And There's the a guitar and an amplifier component. Three quarters of it's in your hands. Most people play the part. And that's the part where we Save fail the for most. the interview. In the meantime, we're relying on these. Remember, we don't have talent. We want these to give us talent and to make women love us and, and children fear us. Children Wait, already fear you, Ryan. <laughs> okay, they so, should. So, so let me get this They're right. So He's delicious. leaving now? He's leaving. Then He's leave. going to the brown room. Then leave. Goodbye. Yep. Okay, start. Wow, that's fast. All right. So Would you, somebody make sure he doesn't cheat. Are we pausing? I, I really do have to leave. Uh, hey. hey, thanks. No, don't cut. Okay. Okay. Let him hear everything. On. Everything that's wrong. <laughs> everything that's <laughs> off shot. Just They should hear it all. And feel free so let me, can to I just, just slam say something? us. The, 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 cur the courage of actually having to duplicate the sound of the track, it's almost unspeakable. Let's go. <laughs> How you I'm feeling good. I'm really excited. This is an exciting day. I hate that question. Yeah, I, I don't. I never. How y'all doing that. tonight? It's an awful question. Are you excited that we got the Paul Reed Smith? Yes, and it's gonna sound like I'm blowing smoke, but I am truly uh, a PRS fanboy. They are actually my number one favorite brand. Period. I like that. From the track, I'm hoping that we get a little 
out there, you know, a little outside the norm. Um, make it a little bit more challenging than maybe even like the last one was. But uh, all in all, I'm just looking forward to whatever you're throwing at me. Oh, I think we're going to get a little out there. <laughs> What's the truck? Throw it at me. Okay, so this is not an isolated track. A little bluesy here. Well, obviously, I'll be hitting my overdrive. That's a given. The question is the more modulated effect. It's a choppiness in some of that. All right, we have two different guitars coming in here, so I think I gotta be mindful of both of them. Less affected on the modulation side. Oh, maybe not. Forget, I take that back, filtered effect. Oh. And Paul Reed Smith has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. He's going rogue. I can do nothing to stop him. We already have a guest. We already have a guest. I don't know what. He's busting in. He's busting into the frame. Ooh, already whispering secrets. Paul. He said he was going to go rogue. And look at him. He is delivering. There's no doubt about it, but the modulation. Yeah. yeah you, you got that? Yep. Okay, good. All right, so we need to pick actually, a modulation. It's actually pedal. tough with the Raskin. It, 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 it is. Okay. And the modulation He's specifically is, is a little oh, good. off. Paul was just coaching. He wasn't saying anything about the track, by the way. There was no comment on the track at all. He was just asking me what was for lunch. Paul, showing some favoritism there. Thing one has, thing two has no favoritism. They're asking him to do something incredibly difficult. And I was trying mm -hmm. to help him. Give him a leg up. I, I, because I'm going to do it for both mm -hmm. of them. Because what they're at, the guy's got a wiggle in his hands that unless you have that kind of vibrato, it's gonna be almost impossible to duplicate. And so what I was trying to do, the distortion was first, then there was the modulation afterwards, and the reverb was in the studio, not coming out of the amplifier. Oh, wow. And so I was teaching, I was saying, this is what I heard, and he was agreeing to that. For me, the success is that he can get the tone. We don't want the, anybody to lose. Right, yeah, we don't want him to fail. No, I want him to win. Yeah, the modulation is where I want it. That's where the trick's gonna be. It's what modulation effect to get that executed. Thinking phaser, possibly right out of the gate. And, and to me, there's some kind of like filtered tone in there as well, which is phaser, obviously, so we could. It's not a phaser. Tweak with that. Are my comments, are they going to be oh, able to hear this later? Oh, yeah. In an overdrive, we're looking at reverb. It's not a phaser. How can you tell so quickly? Wow. It's a sandwich for lunch. It's a chorus, you know, one phaser. That's old 80s chorus. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can you hear it? Yep. I think I'm good on the Hang list. Hang on a minute. There's one other thing. Yeah? <laughs> the guitar players should play in front of the beat. The guitar player's playing in front of the beat. Can you hear that? He's yeah, a little yeah. ahead. Okay, good. Just, I want everybody to win this. Yeah. He, look, <laughs> He's going to give us a tie no, at the end of this. No, absolutely not. But Thing 2 should have us just as good a chance as, as thing, thing 1. one. That's Thank right. You. Okay, good. Now we got it. I think I'm ready to pick my guitar out of the gate. Is that is that too premature? How important is the guitar choice here to you? 17%, 15% of the decision. Okay. Look, that's a humbucking. That mm -hmm. is not a single coil that he was playing because you could hear there was no click on the top of the note. Mm. I'm not going the single coil route this route. I'd like to go with the humbucker and the bridge more often. It is probably the way I'm gonna steer here, which we have a lot of different options because this is literally the Silver Sky is the only single coil option, our dedicated single coil. So I'm gonna go with the custom 24 Blue Crab Blue and going into, you know, since it's already hooked up and I think it's a great choice for today, the HD RX 20. Am I good to you? All right. The big reveal. Okay, awesome. That was New Jersey. He said awesome. Awesome. He didn't say awesome. He said awesome. awesome. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Despite what 
Paul had said, I, I, he didn't comment at all in my ear about a, a, a wah, but I, I do hear some kind of filtered effect going on there. There's no filter um, But let's effect. start with the beginning of the signal chain. So I'm not gonna, I have done this every episode, the compressor, I, I still almost want to do it There's just for no the fun of it, for the sport of it. <laughs> Where but would I'm you start? Leave that off. A f distortion is a compressor. It squishes it all into one spot. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm going to start with my overdrive. And for my overdrive, we have a horse meat, we have a tube screamer, we have a Beatronics, uh, I believe, the Nectar. So I'm going to go. I've never used as much of a PRS fanboy as I am. I have never used. The horse meat transparent overdrive. My apologies, Paul, in advance for that. So weak. But I am kind of curious. Never tried a horse meat? I spent two years on that. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing so much PRS. Merch. I know. I think I'd like to go with the horse meat. I'd like to look to the chorus column because, uh, not to say a little birdie on my shoulder, had whispered about 80s chorus sound, but we're going to go with a. Fender chorus, so I'm going to set myself up here. Then the reverb. I'm going to go with the horse me transparent overdrive in hopes that we're going to get to a gain level as needed. I might actually pick a second overdrive as well because if it's the two guitars or the two parts, they kind of crank uh, up to another level. Then a reverb. And then I want a reverb. That's good. I've used this in the past, not to sound redundant here, but this. MXR reverb, I think, is going to give me some flexibility to kind of dial in what I'm looking for. Am I going to get penalized if I don't use effect pedal? Yes, because there's no way you'll get it without it. Sorry, thing too. You're going to get penalized. I don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to pick a Dunlop Crybaby. There's no Wawa on the file. <sighs> Paul's in pain. There's no Wawa on the file. Oh, there he goes. And I might just want to drive it with the compressor, Paul. Don't yell at me. This is your product. Oh, he's going to yell. That will do it. That will do it. Okay, he, he's happy with look, my... Ch a Wawa goes, ow, ow, ow. Right? There's none of that in the file. No, there's none of that, but there's a notch to me where I keep hearing him go in like this little like envelope, like stays there. He doesn't even flex it. There's some kind of weird like filter going on there, but... Okay, that'll give you the mid-range you're hearing. That's what you're after. Yes, it is. I'm shutting up, go. <laughs> compressor, you gotta be kidding me. Those guys that are playing don't know what a compressor is. That's my signal chain. I'm sticking with it. It's actually quicker than I anticipated. So, let's go with that. Wrap, done. He's actually doing very well. <laughs> what are you expecting uh, going on here today? As a, you know, we never know. And I've had people say, oh, you know, they told you what's going on. Don't act like you don't know. Paul took the blanket off, but I didn't look. Thing one, let's go. Are you chewing gum? I am. <laughs> he's going, he's going. I just had lunch. <laughs> I don't want my breath to come off in the video. <laughs> he's funny. He is. No, dude. <laughs> oh, really? Really? That's the best part of the really? day. Really? Right don't there. give him your garbage. <laughs> what is right. wrong with you? You can't do that. <laughs> Time out. I want that. In the clip. That'll make the edit. We'll make that, sure. That's got to make the edit. That he handed his gum to somebody else. You don't do that. And he, he handed his gum to my boss. <laughs> what? No, dude. I want my gum back is what I want. I am not sure. And I can tell you this for a fact. I have literally no idea. I was up against the door. I had a cup. I heard nothing. You like the green room? I did like the green room. It was really nice. <laughs> But I, I never know what to expect. The, the key is to just empty your brain, which if we all know is easy for me, and then just come in and do the best to lose to Russ, which is what I will do again for this episode. Are you ready for the song? Sure. I got, oh, he's getting edgy. Here we go. Same track? Yeah, same track. Oh, that's not fair. Well, yeah, that's, we have to compare them to one another. That's Same why we isolated track. it. Mm -hmm. I think we get it, right? What could go wrong? What do you hear? Uh, obviously, finally, some dirt. It feels like the last couple of times we did this, everything was really clean. In fact, I think Mark Letary didn't even use any pedals last time we did one yeah, of these. Yeah, he pretty so. much didn't. All right, so we got dirt. 
then sort of, sort of like roto vibe kind of thing, and maybe a little something to wet it up, a little delay, a little uh, reverb. He's doing good. I think I'm gonna use a PRS. So, Bad idea. Um, <laughs> so think of the humbuckers. You know what, I'll, Keith, can I use this? You're allowed to talk. He's on the phone. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, why oh. not? This is cool. Here he comes. Or should I use something that we actually Paul has entered You can the use building. Keith's guitar. You can use Keith's guitar. I give you permission to get, use Keith's guitar. Oh, like you're the boss of us. I can use this? I'm telling you, you can. I made the guitar. He can't make another one. If you damage it, I can fix it. Someone's full of themselves. So get a strap. <laughs> you can use the guitar. And then we can talk about the difference between uh, coil splitting and coil taps when so you have time. I'm going to tell you something. All right, here we go. We didn't do this normal, and I have to be fair. I did it like I was a recording engineer running in and out of the control room trying to help. Oh. And the first thing that I told your competitor mm -hmm. is that to what I heard, there was some like 80s chorus on it after the distortion. Okay. And there was definitely some sort of lexicon reverb on it, but there, since that's not here, we, we cleared that. Okay. So to me, this isn't a competition. This is about everybody winning. That's really nice. <laughs> Um, God, you are so full of shit. All right, let's leading go. Leading the witness. Oh, good. <laughs> I want that struck from the record. Cool. And you want to figure out your amp? Um, I like, I like that victory just because I feel like I use it every time, and it's kind of home base, and it's clean, and it'll take pedals well. It's a good pedal platform, as one of my coworkers likes to say. His name is Keith McGee. Shout out to Keith. No oh, shit. Keith's the brand manager for AMS. And he knows what he's doing. Can we have a gong? It's like Iron Chef. Um. <laughs> uh, he's donning his cape. <laughs> Is that normal for him? For him, yes. Well, there's a lot of good choices here. So, all right, we obviously talk dirt. So let's go with the dirt first. He looks comfy. Or did Paul say that it was dirt then chorus? Chorus then dirt? Paul, are you there? Dirt, then chorus. Thank you. I feel like there's a, there's not a lot of pedals here that are going to give me a lot of dirt, and I felt like that was pretty heavy in the dirt department. So he has a better sense of how much gain there was. Remember, I had to mm. talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Russ. Thing two into having lots of extra gain. Yeah, but Ryan knows. I'm gonna use the nectar because I've never used one of those either. And I is it nectar or nectar? It's nectar. Nectar, Ryan. So they have completely different pedal sensibilities. Can you see that? Yeah, they oh, do. Oh, this is badass. I definitely want to try this. And that's not just because Paul's here. This is a cool pedal. Um, because Flanger doesn't get enough love. And... Thank you very much. We use an Echoplex for a little bit of delay. And then the rest of these can go away. All right. He needs Very reverb. decisive. Now he needs reverb. All right. What do you think? Mm. Another objection from Paul. I don't have a lexicon reverb in the control room. You might want to add a little reverb too. That's a good idea. Thank you. So I'm going to add a little reverb because I just thought about that. I thought before of it all on his own, yeah. I decided not to. It's going to be a 2MXR day, a Btronics Nectar, and a Paul Reed Smith Wind Through the Trees, which is a line from a Pretender song. Is it really? If I'm I didn't know Am that. Am I correct? <laughs> I didn't know that. I know I'm right. I don't need to hear from anybody else. I don't even think we need to play. What do I win? First of all, if it is a line from a pretender's tune, yes. I didn't know that. But it is. I didn't know that. The, the term came from the flanger sounding like went through the trees with the guitar with the reverb attached. It came from an old prototype that we made that we thought sounded like went through the trees. If I stole it from a pretender's tune, she wins. I didn't know that. My city was gone. You know the song? I actually don't know the song. I, I have a photographic memory for tunes, but that one, if you sang it and played it, then I would know, but I didn't know You the wouldn't line. know it if I sang it and played it. But it's a good one. That it's might a good lyric. be accurate. It is. I ended up calling an audible. So instead of going with the HDRX, I ended up moving towards the MT15 instead, which is the Tremonti 15 watt a signature head from PRS. Uh, Pedals still stand, my choices. So, but right now I do have a, a very controversial selection of a wah that I, I'm kind of looking to find potentially, a, like I said, a filtered 
effect where I just dial in a particular frequency that I thought I was hearing from at least one of those two particular solos. Smart, what do you say? I think he'll take your advice, no, but smart. dial it back a little. That's smart, yeah. Again, another uh, conflicting choice here was the optical compressor, the Mary Cries by PRS, where I very well might not use it. Uh, again, from the second solo, if I'm even trying to cover that tone, maybe it'll kick me into a little bit more high gear depending how I set it. And then that transparent overdrive, which is the one that I'm, actually now that I'm using the MT-15, might even be using the, 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 the gain that I'm getting out of the amp itself. And maybe kick it into high gear with the horse meat. We'll see about that. Um, chorus is what we're hoping is gonna uh, solve that modulated effect sound that we were hearing. I had interpreted it maybe initially as a phaser, but he's right. I'm sure it's more of like an 80s chorus sound. Uh, and then from that chorus, we're gonna go into the MXR reverb, which is the last in our signal chain, and that's gonna be, remains to be seen how big we're gonna make that sound because there's plate options, there's spring reverbs, uh, re room reverbs, pad reverbs, so we'll, we'll dial that in once we hear the track. That track is not a spring reverb. I think it's room, room reverb? No, it's like a, a it's probably a beautiful lexicon type ha small hall uh, plug-in reverb. It's probably what it is, but I don't know. Okay, I, I don't think it's within the context of the band. There's a lot going on with bass drum uh, you know, and, and low end from the bass guitar and another guitar, but I think I do want to up my game on the gain front. I'm in the key of F sharp, and we're going to dial in horse meat transparent overdrive. And let's just go to a chorus because that was too strong before the way it was just set when it was fed to me. I'll take this off. Whoop. <laughs> that was the funny. Comes out. <laughs> that was good. I'm gonna turn the level down on the chorus. We're gonna go depth. Actually, I'm gonna use my mulligan now. Is that okay? I want to hear it one more time for the chorus specifically. I got my gain is is populated in my head. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna mulligan just for the pure fact I want to hear that modulation. There's way more gain on the track than he's using, and more high mid-range. You can tell when he pulled the note down, it didn't get any quieter. Mm. A lot of gain. What I ended up doing was... I have a slow rate and I have a higher depth because I don't hear it doing incredible amount of warp. You might be doing a little much there. It's almost Leslie like the way he's got it set. We have set. a type button and a tone button, so we're just for in educational purposes. Let's. Whoa, 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 we'll hear it. Yeah. With the amount of gain going on right now, I honestly don't hear any differences between either three types of this chorus. Must be loud in the room because if we can hear it in the it, mic, DC. I take that back. We're gonna kick in our reverb. That's pretty good. It's just a little something there. That almost went too easy for me on the reverb side. I don't want too much. The reverb sounds good. He's right. Yeah, he's right. If I'm doing the second guitarist... Yup, we're not using that. We're done there. And I'm not touching the compressor because I got the gain and I got the horse meat working together. So these two pedals... Paul was correct. I'm not going to bother with them. I'm not going to use them. I'm looking for him to see if he's <laughs> attacking the stage. Uh, we're going to stick with the horse meat, the chorus, and the reverb. The gain is... Way back. It's dialed in, really. It's on the lead channel, and it's not, like, cranked or anything. So I'm, I'm happy, to be honest. This is a short and sweet, quick, down and dirty. Go for it. All right, so here we go. We'll just go. He's busting in. Oh, 
He is on the scene. Oh, he's taking matters into his own hands <laughs> as Brady clips the love back on. He's making some really minor adjustments here. The reverb sounds great. Where's the sweep on the chord? The sweep is right here, the types. Oh, you just looking for the depth is right there, yep. And just like that. Better, right? Your adjustments really did help. That sounds better. So you had too much chorus, so you just turned the amount and the and the rate down. And I, I turned the high mid-range up on horse meat. Yeah, that sounds way better actually. All right. Little feedback there for the Wait a minute. That ain't over. Wait that a minute. That was what he whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, right. whoa, 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 whoa. Paul is objecting. Whoa. No, 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 absolutely not. Paul <laughs> is objecting. Put an SM7 seven on the amplifier and let him play along. That's not fair. You got to let him play along with Ooh, it. I like that. I like that. You got to let him play along. That's not fair. Put an SM7 seven on the mic, on the, on the cabinet. Yeah, baby. And then play along. Yeah. That Good. Was, I would there's love the, to do that. There's more reverb than that. It sounds so close. If you play along, yeah, 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 yeah. it's gonna be there. Three bars, yes. you're done. All right. Then you win. Then, let's do that. Let's do that. And we don't even need Ryan, really, right? You, look, do we all need? I can tell you, look, I added high mid range. You yep. need an SM7 here. Yep. And it's it's gonna sound almost exactly the same. And you did great. Thank you. Good. God damn it! Change the mic. <laughs> <laughs> SM7. SM7. Do we yeah, have an yeah, SM7? There's, I'm talking into one back there. <laughs> He wants it. Yeah. You got just that mic, right? Yep, I muted the other two. Go. That's just like them. Just sounds like this. Just like Sounds just like the track in the other room. We're uh, done. All right, we're done. We could call that a wrap. That's a bona fide wrap. Uh, we got the B-Tronics Nectar, which is an overdrive and a fuzz. So I feel like in terms of finding the right amount of dirt, we should be able to get it there. Plus, they just look cool as hell. I would buy one of their pedals and never step on it. Just have it on my board. That's a good idea. Fuzz. Then we're going to go into the Wind Through the Trees, which is not a pretender song, into an MXR reverb, into an Echoplex style delay. I might use a little reverb from the amp, too. He's not going to quit with that joke. No, he's not. <laughs> he doesn't let go very easily. He's not going to quit with that joke. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Let's see. Only I had someone to help me figure out what this thing does. What is an LFO? Anybody know? I thought it was a boy band. Oh. I'll be right back. Thank you. There he goes. Guardian Angel, right on cue. You're very, very pedal savvy, and I love that. In my mind, it would go use one of them, okay? Okay. So let's go to one, and then the rate, from what I hear, is fairly slow, and then you would adjust these. This regeneration makes it sounds like a flanger. It sounds more like a chorus to me. So mm -hmm. to me, that turned off. Now you've got a chorus pedal. So with these two knobs would, con these could, three knobs would control everything, and it would do the wet and the dry and about in the middle. Try that. We're in the ballpark for sure. Got a little more movement. Sounds really good. Can I have that? Uh, yes, you can have it for having me on the show. It's on my charge. I'll give you the credit card at the end, okay? You got a free pedal. It's my last day, too, so this has really worked out well. Thank you. What? I know. Isn't that the worst? 
You're not serious, right? I don't think so. I, I never know, honestly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so I'm not using reverb on the amp. Um, and I'm not a giant reverb fan, but there's clearly something going on there. Um, something lexicon-like. So... Wait. All right, we'll leave that. That's kind of like a, an epic mod, which is what they call it. I don't know what that means. And then... That's the echo. That's the delay. He has a much better sense of how much gain that Mark and Miles were using. Yeah. He's using way more gain yeah, than Thing 2. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like that. See, look at him smile. <laughs> he does look happy. <laughs> Can I, can I say it's a little too fuzzy. All right, all right, relax. That was just fun no matter what. In the, oh, hey, you're back. In the control room, there's a teeny bit too much delay coming out of the speakers. Okay, then. Right? I think it was going to be this involved. <laughs> better? That is better. I think it's still too much. Where did it go? Let him play. We'll see. Oh my God, that sounds almost good. Mm -hmm. I like almost that. good. Um, oh. In the control room, the flanger needs to be a little bit drier. There's a wet dry knob on the we right have a side. Napkin on the right side. Yeah. God, you're a real piece of work. I'll do it. Thank you. Oh. You know, I didn't think you really napkin. had a hand in making these things. I just thought you slapped you know their name something? on them. You're supposed right. to be pedal savvy, but you're not. I'm okay, not. I just go. buy them. Jesus Thanks, Christ. Mr. Smith. <laughs> All right. Boy. Yeah, that's much better. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Upset? <laughs> uh, now I am. It's my last day. <laughs> he said that. He's full of it. <laughs> It's a little too fuzzy. Of course it is. Yeah, Russ had more clarity. That's all I got. It's close though. In, in the control room. Oh my God. <laughs> what it sounds like to me mm -hmm. is in this rig, the flanger should be first and the distortion second, and there's a little too much fuzz on the distortion. I cranked everything. I was enjoying that. Yeah, if well, you want to come in and listen? Is that a threat? So it's a little fuzzy here. Yeah, it definitely is a little oversaturated, for sure. Uh, the gain's cool. It's just, it's a little raspy, a little fuzzy. Raspy, little fuzzy. Yeah. And then, and then the, the, the flanger sounds like it should be four of the flags. Because it's one, it's clamped it down. Okay, I'll give that a shot. There you go. I will take your advice. Play along with the track, let's go. You have it, you're there. All righty, thanks coach. You know what, do you mind holding it for one second? Because Paul said I have to switch the order of the pedal. Oh, go ahead. And I do what Paul tells me to do. He's doing great. He's very pedal savvy. That that part I like. I mean, knows what he's doing. And but he, and thus he was in the control room. He wouldn't have heard the, right. the fuzzy part. So that is the extraordinary Keith McKee in the man, shot. The man himself. And he wants to play so bad he's picked up the guitar. Yeah, he really does. All right, I think it was okay. You guys ready? Yeah, Keith's gonna play. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> um, I've been rehearsing. Thank you. Clearly, Here. I haven't either. But thank you. Yeah, but this is your thing. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to see me. I have a face for radio. There you go. That's not true. That's here. the guy from Funky D. We must finish the deal. Chop, chop, boys. Chop, effing chop. <laughs> We're back. Now, I had some thoughts. I did this all on my own, and I was thinking, you know, if I could, if I could reverse the order of the pedals, I would do that. So I, I decided to move the flanger to the front. Yeah, came up with it all on his own because um, it just seemed like a much better idea to me as I was playing. And then I also felt that there was a little too much fuzziness in the uh, overdrive. So we're gonna dial some of that out, even though I don't know what any of these knobs do because they use weird terms. Taste, honey, and volume. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, let's turn the amp on. Genius. So tired. Um, wow, that sounds better already. Now play along with the track. He's running, he's sprinting. Paul Reitz with his sprinting towards Ryan. <laughs> keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep, keep playing. Touch my knobs, Paul. I don't know what that does. Where's, where's the game? Where's the game? Better? Better. It is better. You oh, it is better. He's right. I turn the gain up. All right, so do I get them both on camera? So the name of the show is... Game what? of Tones. Game of Tones. Instead of it being a competition... What, you're, what we just did is what they do at a recording session of the one that was uh, played back to. Believe me, the engineer and the producer were in the room constantly making adjustments to try to get it to come out of the speakers right. Sure. And for me, all you did was imitate a real recording session and them trying to get the, the, the track to play. To me, that is highly instructive for people buying gear. I mean, what order to put it in? Sure. There's not, there's some videos about that online, but not a lot. You're right. Yeah. Um, and very often when people have pedal boards, they spend days trying to figure out what order to have it in. You taking this big pedal board and not just turning some on and some off, but making it a smaller, mm. more pedal board. That looks more like what Hendrix had. There were four pedals on the floor and there wasn't a lot and a couple few few coil cords and he would run one amp cleaner than the other and and run a ca cable from one to the other and he was doing all kinds of things at the beginning of this mm. so i think this is great you should be doing this a lot it's not well i mean I, there's probably not a video of an mxr reverb into the echo plex right in that order you right. put the echo after the reverb i did yeah. normally they put the echo before, before. It, so there's reverb on the echo but there are no rules. Well, that's clear with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I like that, but it is game of tones in a way. It's a game to how to get tones sure. on a recording thing. And we literally had no clue coming in. No. What do you mean? Just, we, we did, we I think people seem to think we're clued know. into it, but we're not. Oh, yeah, clued no. into what? The that, track that's have any idea what's under the blanket or what we're going to play along with? Oh, that, that part's honest. Yeah. And, and quite frankly, he didn't pick that. Mm -mm. He didn't pick that. Mm -mm. He didn't pick that. Oh no, you picked that one. That one I did pick. And you and you didn't pick, I didn't that. pick that. He picked a different amp, we picked the same mic, we picked the di same, same, guitar. same guitar. Oh, okay. Which yeah. is fine. Cool. We do this at in the when Michael is doing a, uh, a track or Bill's doing a track, we're running up and down the stairs, we're doing the same thing constantly out of the thing. And a very interesting, uh, Dead and Company. The front of house person at Dedic Company spends more time on the stage adjusting the things mm -hmm. on the stage than out front in the mm -hmm. beginning. And I, and I looked at John Mayer and I said, that is the first time, or maybe only the second time, I've ever seen the front of house person on the stage looking after how the amps are adjusted, where the mics are, because he wants good feeds. Mm -hmm. And in a way, you're talking about giving the engineer a good feed. Well, my goal is AMS isn't just a place where you a click on a product it's there's a pile of experts here and I want that to be readily seen by this show right that's why I got on the train to come up today because I think this is really important my friend Keith's here he knows and he's he's the you know PRS person here at AMS he knows so much about guitars he was so anxious to play when you were adjusting things he had the guitar on so he could play it I mean he's to a play really, it right by the way he's playing a really yeah. good guitar yeah. player he is a and great I guitar saw player. him play a beautiful solo with uh, the what? Victor Wooten. Yeah, Victor Wooten. So killer. This is a game of tones in a way. I kind of like the, where it is. 
you know, I, 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 I have a lot of respect for what happened today. I knew it was going to be out of control and fun. Yes. And I said some very wrong things back <laughs> on the microphone back Thanks. there. Thanks. Well, well, that's okay. It, don't, it doesn't so, make so it. So I absolutely refuse to decide who did a better job. Oh, wow. How, that's a diplomat. You know why? Because you had a different sense of the pedals than he did. You uh, went after different pedals, right. and both of you had different sensibilities. Oh, he wants to. It matters to him. You don't understand. This is like a, like, is. A, like a Eric knows know. hair to him. He's like, I have I to, know. to know one. And I, I know based know, on Paul. our conversations that you're gonna give it to him, which you should. I'm because not gonna he needs give it, it to him. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you what. We'll go line by line. Okay. He had a better sense of the reverb. You had a better sense of the delay. He had a better sense of how much chorus was gonna be on it and where. You used a flanger and there was too much. He was right about the fuzz but you didn't use a fuzz. Mm -mm. It, the distortion tone was closer from what he did, but you had more of the sound of the track in your hands. There you go. Wow. Sorry, that's the way should it is. Should we hug? No, we should not. <laughs> this is over. I'm not coming back for at least a year. We're done. <laughs> Goodbye. A huge thank you to Paul Reed Smith for being our agent of chaos this episode of Game of Tones. Do you think it was a tie? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And for all the gear featured in this video, head on over to AmericanMusical.com. Oh, and for those of you playing along at home, the song featured in this episode was Blackbird by Alter Bridge, featuring PRS artists Miles Kennedy and Mark Tremonti. And that's all, folks. <laughs>